Hello all and welcome to Star Citizen with me, Ironside McCall. Thank you so much for joining and you join me in a ship I've been wanting to try out for a very long time and that is the Drake Vulture for some salvaging. Now what I thought I would do, it's maybe a little bit different, I don't know, is bring it actually to a bunker. Because of Pez, there's always ships lying around so I thought, hey, why not? Let's salvage those ships there, get some RMC, go do the bunker, and then lather, rinse, repeat. Just see how we do. Two birds and all, you know. And also thinking, it's going to be quite safe, relatively speaking, because if you go to a bunker you don't need to drive into, then anyone else that turns up will be targeted by the turrets. So you've got your own personal defence force um, kind of going on. So that's another trail of thought that I've been going with this so without further ado let's get cracking and you can see I've put the glorious ghoulish green on just like I have on my cat and I think it look at this I'll do uh, another a show screenshot whatever um, when it's a little bit lighter but this ghoulish green look at that that's beautiful I love it so good and I'm not sure what you want to call this, um, but my first ship that is here is also another Vulture. So, and now I've not done salvaging before, so we'll see how it goes, but I believe it's still just like mining. So you press your M for your mining mode. Let's go down, lower the uh, speed, and we just uh, do it like mining, essentially. Yeah, there you go. Is it filling up? Yeah, it's filling up very slowly, you mind. That could be just because it's a ship instead of one of those uh, oh, really cool little bits you get flying around. Ah, there we go. That's a little bit better. I can see why people like it. Very relaxing. Now, you can change the type of the laser as well. Um, I'm not going to do that right now. I will do that a little bit later. I'm just uh, getting a feel for it. It is filling up extremely slowly. Um, not overly sure why that is. If anyone has any ideas, please let me know down in the comments and uh, I'll be sure to, to do something about it because this is really quite slow. I'm almost on one full arm. And there's not much uh, happening. It is fun though. And if you know you're all, if you're if you're just in it for the gameplay and just trying to get as much out of it as you can, then this is fine. You know you don't need to do the whole singing and dancing. I thought I'd try something new, and this is working out. You know. And also, you have to make sure that you do your salvaging before you do the bunker because you only get 15 minutes before you have to foxtrot Oscar and hightail it out so always do this first da, da, da. oh yeah you've got to make sure you're on it I could get a little bit closer as well perhaps that may help any of you salvagers out there got some top tips Always happy to learn more from you guys. Let's try to get a bit closer. I mean, I don't imagine that's going to impact it terribly. Now, if the guy who owns this ship was still around, you would hope that he would have the shield still active. <laughs> you can't salvage when the shields are on. But the shields aren't on, so I'm guessing this ship has, uh, his, its owner has uh, perished somehow in a 30k or uh, some bunker misfortunes. But this is fun. <laughs> I will take it out for a proper salvage run as well at some point. Uh, but I thought I'd just give this a whirl. Because I love doing the bunkers as well, um, as some of you will know. Now this is taking, I'll say it, I'll say it again, taking a long ass time. Oh, 
is fun though and you can practice your uh, flying skills, your control skills at the same time. Is it better than mining? Well, yeah, I, I would say so. Just from this little bit, I would say it's better than rock mining at least, in my humble opinion. Can I get that one there on the top? Nope, no material. A little bit there. I'm probably only going to get one SCU from this. No material. Okay, we can get some more from the top. We've got that other arm as well around the other side to go to. We will try and get as much as we can before heading into the bunker where we'll probably uh, obviously make most of our credits from there. Now this could be, because it is working, you know, it does work, and if there's multiple ships here, you know, and you're not on a time limit, um, you're lucky enough to be able to get a, a couple of hours gameplay in, um, this could be a new, uh, a new bunker ship for some people. It could be for me, for sure. trying to clean it up as much as I can. Now when it first came out I did see a lot of uh, people comparing it to uh, power wash cleaner or jet wash cleaner whatever it's called. Um, I didn't even know that that was a game. Um, wh why would you think it is? But of course it is. Um, and I can see I can see the similarity obviously not having played the game but having used one myself. Oh there we go. I think the colour of the outline as well indicates the uh, the quality that you will get and the amount you will get. This has all been yellow so far and the top bit there doesn't want to doesn't want to play so we'll go around the side. And you can take the components off as well but I don't think they're very profitable just yet. And. Um, you have to find the right place to be able to sell them, which is quite difficult. Now, as far as Star Citizen gameplay goes currently, it's things like this you have to do to try and uh, keep yourself busy, keep yourself occupied, especially the content creators. Trying to find something uh, new and exciting and worthwhile, essentially, is... Uh, is the big thing. I'm trying to find something that people perhaps haven't thought of or haven't done is uh, is the challenge that we face. Uh, can I salvage the ramp? <laughs> yeah. Not much of it, but you can salvage the ramp. Um, right, so you can see we are full filler station ejecting. I'll just turn that off. Now, I can't remember if I've set it to... I have to go down. Ah, no, there we go. Um, so that's ejected itself, so I don't have to go down. So, I could, so that one will now be on the bay. And I can fill another one up. Then I have to go and move those two. Which is fine, because I'm not going to get another full one. helps when your thrusters are, are playing ball as well. Perhaps not the most exciting content to watch, but hey, it's fun. Go try it, go do it. I can get the side now as well. Ah, oh, no, that's no... No material. I can see the material. Come on, Star Citizen. Get good. There we go. Now, if you're doing one of those little uh, scrap pieces that you can uh, go to, I imagine you'd have filled quite a few boxes by now. So I will try that out as well. Right, let's try the side. Can we get the side? Ah, yes, there we go. Nope. There. Let's 
Can we get the side from that one yet? No, we still can't get that top bit from the vulture. But we do have, hopefully, all of that. Yeah. All right. And also, because it is your bunker, you should keep this position until you're done. Until you've completed your contract or <laughs> DC'd or 30K'd or CTD'd, whatever Star Citizen could throw at you. Which is also another Brucey bonus because you're protected, in theory. Can't get that bit. That's a frustrating. Oh, nope. Okay. See, it's hard. It's done point zero three, just that. So, RMC wise, perhaps not the best idea. New type of gameplay, something to keep you interested? Yeah, of course it is. We'll go and rinse that bunker in a minute. <laughs> Hopefully. And this is when I die and someone comes and salvages my beautiful ghoulish green. Right. Are we done? Okay, we can get a bit more at the front. Interesting. If, by the way, this is anyone's vulture that <laughs> happens to be watching that I am currently salvaging, uh, thanks. Ah! Ah! Can I get that bit? There we go. No material. No material. Alright, we'll just have a quick go at the front. You get the cockpit area. Nope. Front of the thrusters. No. Bits on top I've missed. A few bits. You can see those. Let's just tidy that up. Now I think you should get more than the amount of RMC I've just got considering I've done a whole ship just saying that's my opinion now I think there was something else well there's a thruster right there we could go and have a little looky loo why not this is what makes it the best bunker ship with Pez Not getting a great deal more, but hey. This looks like it's a ghoulish green as well. Anything there? No. Now I think, correct me if I'm wrong please down in the comments, you can actually put the reclaimer um, laser heads on the vulture as well I think I remember seeing that on a video a while ago when salvage was the the new thing um, so that could be something worthwhile to try as well the limited time that I have the vulture it is a ship I would like to have so whenever it comes available in game I will of course be purchasing one I imagine it can't be too much more than the the caterpillar is I was going to say that was a smooth move then, but it wasn't too it wasn't too great. But hey, it worked. Yeah, we're not even up to half of another one yet. We get this little bit. Yep. 
Okay, so we'll turn that off. Close mining mode, pressing M. And I don't think there was much else around this one. Now, I do have another bunker lined up, just to protect site one. One of the first ones you can get. Um, oh, what's that? Oh, there are a couple of bits, but maybe that's not worth it. How's this for a landing? First try. <laughs> right. So we'll give you a quick tour of the of the vulture. I say a quick tour. It will be a quick tour. Um, but I've done the gun trick that I first saw with uh, Corporal Clash, CPL Clash, who is now a lovely Discord member over at McCall's Gaming. Um, and he showed you how you can keep your weapons. So I've put some in my uh, gun rack here. I should have just put equip. And got my salvo pistol, obviously. Love that pistol. My multi-tool. I'm hoping there's a tractor beam on it. <laughs> Come on. There we go. And equip your med pen. It just makes it more immersive, more realistic that you've got your gear stored instead of always on your person. Can I jump down? Nope, can't jump down. So... Let's go through. Here we go. So there's the first box. Come on. Oh, come on. No, that's not going to work. Okay. I'm not sure what that was, but hey, never mind. Star Citizen. There we go. So that clicks on there now to the cargo grid. Awesome. And I've got the other one. Almost half full, so we'll just leave that in there for later. We don't need to do anything with it. But now, we can hopefully go and rinse this bunker. Guard site against hostile. So it's three waves. And I will close that up. Yeah, that wouldn't have been much that. No point salvaging that. Maybe the other vulture did it. Who knows? Right. Let's try and... Skip forward a few bits. So I won't show you the whole bunker, the waiting and whatnot. We've all seen those. We've all done them before. So we'll skip forward to the good bits.
Well, other than that little uh, little hiccup, I would say, with the, the penultimate villain. Um, so much for the AI being uh, a little bit more difficult, because I was right in front of him, literally lying on the floor, because I accidentally pressed X instead of C, and nothing. I was like, oh, come on. And I had a misfire as well with the, come on, with the old, uh, oh, I'm lost for words because that was just so rubbish. <laughs> Any, oh, yay, railgun. Sorry, I got distracted. Take that. Reloading. That was, I had a problem with my reloading. Right, let's get back to the vulture. See if we can fill the second RMC up, and then uh, then I think we'll call this one. It's been quite long already. Coming into the final bunker I had planned, and what goodies do we have here? Looks like there's a there's a couple of ships. We've got one that's just outside, and it looks like there's oh there's two more, perhaps closer to the bunker. Ah, right then. Let's go and have a look, shall us? Cutty red. Is it worth salvaging? Put the lights on. I did put the lights on. Hmm. Don't think so. No. Nope, not that one. Terrapin. Gladius. Okay. The Terrapin's a great little ship. Anyone that's not flown one, they are great fun. Let's see, can I salvage them? Gladius. Yep, ah, shielded. Yeah. Can't get shielded. Ah. Where's that person then? Still inside? No. Terrapin? Shielded also. So we can't get them. Now this is another good reason to always leave your shields on. Just in case, you know, if your shields are down in my opinion, it's fair game. Uh, let me know how you feel about that, however. Um, I'm sure there's different uh, schools for thought out on that one. So, doesn't look like we can salvage near this one, but we can, of course, still go in, rinse through the bunker. Uh, it's only a little one, this one, so 15k. And then move on to the next. Or we'll probably actually just bedlog, leave everything in the vulture, ready for next time. So let's go and uh, see if we can rinse through this, see if there's any dead bodies inside. We could, of course, see if we can gain access to those ships, turn the shields off, and then salvage them. <laughs> uh, that's an option. Is it a good option? Yes. And we'll let the uh, security guards just take care of them while we go and try it out. Oh, yes. Oh, dear. Anvil Terrapin owner. You've left your shields on. Well done. However, you've left it open. I could just come and turn them off. Who's that? Keith Soban. Thank you very much. And shields. Shields down. Lovely. Is that a little bit cheeky? Is it wrong? Is it a gameplay loop? Comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are on this one. Now, You'd assume because the ships are still here, there doesn't seem to be anyone around, you have access to this bunker, which means no one else can, that 
the ship is either abandoned or or something like that. That's my thinking behind it anyway. So we'll see what we can get off this little terrapin. If we can uh, half fill our remaining canister while the hopefully the guards take out the remaining eight before I have to get involved. Let's have a look. Now for a salvage ship you'd think the lights were better. There we go, look. Shields down. Salvage. It's good fun. I'm enjoying it. Well, you can see it's salvaging. I won't put you through the ordeal of uh, of watching another one because it took quite a while. It's filling up at the same rate. So I'll get this done and then I'll meet you in the bunker for another, hopefully, another rinse through. There we go. Forgot to reload, but never mind. AI, not too effective today. Um, right, let's leave this one here. I'm going to do a lovely little bed log, hopefully, in the vulture. And I will do a little bit more salvaging, fill up the salvage hold um, for the next video, then go off and, and sell everything. So, hope you enjoyed this one. A little bit different, perhaps a little bit controversial, I don't know. Please let me know down in the comments below what you thought of this method. Is it the right thing to do, going off and salvaging people's ships at bunkers if they're there? I don't know. Let me know what your, your thoughts are, please. Um, quick reminder, we've got the 500 subscriber giveaway as well. As of recording this, we are eight subscribers away. Just eight I cannot wait to get that 500 mark and start the ship giveaway and then start the big drive to 1000 where all the fun starts to happen then. So thank you and welcome to all the new subscribers. Hope you enjoyed this one. Make sure to comment down below, hit the subscribe button if you haven't and also to hit that like button. And I'll just store all my weapons, hopefully. I did press place, but it didn't. 
go. Not sure what's happening. They're still on. Right, I'll just have to sleep with the weapons on. Um, thank you all. Um, take care and I'll see you all next time.